it's Anna. Today we are doing a haul. I'm super excited about this haul because I've been collecting it throughout the whole month and now I get to show you guys everything. So the first store I'm showing you is from Bridge Girl. I only got one thing because I desperately needed a dress for my friend's wedding that's coming up. So I got a dress for that and I actually am obsessed with this dress. It's so cute. It looks pretty normal until you look at the side. The side has this huge circle that you can actually make smaller by tightening the strings if that makes sense. It probably doesn't doesn't look appetizing, not appetizing. It probably doesn't look cute because like it just looks like strings and holes, but I'll put a try-on portion. I guess this will be a try-on haul because some of the stuff is a little confusing to show just holding it up. So yeah, I got this dress. I'm obsessed with it. It has a big hole on the left side. You can make it smaller or bigger. And then same with the armpit area. There's strings for that too, which I'm really happy about. I think that's so cute. I'm definitely gonna make it tighter on both sides just to make it more form-fitting. I love how unique the dress is with the little holes and also the neck. Like this is so cool. It also has slits on the side. Oh wait, there's only one slit. Yeah, there's a slit on the left side, which is really cute. You'll definitely see this on my Instagram. If you guys want to go follow it, go ahead and do so. I post literally every outfit I wear on Instagram. And then might as well show you the shoes I got for the wedding. I literally googled white strappy heels and found these from DSW. I've never gotten shoes from DSW, but they're known for their shoes, so it has to be good. So I got these shoes. I'm very excited. I wasn't trying to find a huge heel because I'm already tall. I can't walk in heels, so I got these little flat heels, which I'm obsessed with that has a little square butt thing which I love butt thing a little square thing at the end which is so cute I love shoes like that I thought it was gonna be like ugly with my feet because I honestly hate feet if I'm gonna be honest <laughs> It really doesn't matter. I just hate feet in general. So I don't like showing my feet, but I can't wear sneakers to a wedding. Like that's just not it. So I got these heels. It has a little like texture. It kind of looks like crocodile. Will not be trying this on for you guys, but you get the gist. <laughs> this is the shoe. If you are curious, I don't know if that helps. Look at how cute that is together. I love it. I can't wait to wear it. Next door is Brandy Melville. I went there a few days ago with my sister and we got a few things. So very excited. I got this basic sweater, which I'm really obsessed with. I've already worn it like 80 times already. It's super comfy, super flattering on the collarbones. A little like cream off-white type of color. It's a sweater, but also a short sleeve. So perfect for the Washington weather. I love it. Good basic. And then I also got this little Frankenstein graphic tee. I didn't even see this. Like, you know how Brandy Melville has those little t-shirts piled onto each other with all different colors? I was very curious because I saw the brown. And I was like, I don't need any more brown, but I'm curious. So I asked myself sister to lift the pile up and then we saw this i thought it was gonna be the cowgirl one or cowboy whatever that shirt is that everybody has i don't want to get it because everybody already has it and then she left it up and i saw this little graphic tee so i got it i thought it was super cute we actually went to brandy melville to find like basics for work and obviously i can't wear graphic tees to work so i probably won't be wearing this but i'm definitely gonna wear this when i'm at home and then here's a basic that I can wear to work. It's just this black lace tank top. Not lace. What is this? neckline and stuff like that. <laughs> the shirt makes me look very mature and it's just very like boss lady vibes. I don't know how to explain it, but I feel very mature wearing this. I think it's because the neckline is so high and it's perfect length. It's not too long, not too short. I can wear this to work. Last thing I got from Brandy is just this big crew neck. I love their crew necks. I love their sweaters. I love their hoodies. They're so comfortable. I saw this and I had to get it. I literally have this in red. You guys know I wear it all the time in my videos. So I got it in a blue version and it also has pockets, which is is really cool. I didn't even notice till I got home, but it has pockets on both sides. Crinex never have pockets, so I thought that was a fun little detail. Yeah, super comfortable. I wear it all the time now. I also got some swimsuits from just two different brands that I'm just gonna show you together because there's random brands. I got this from Aeropostale. I never go in there. The last time I went was probably when I was like 16. But they have up their game because this swimsuit is so cute. I love the color and I love the rib detailing. It's such a good quality the swimsuit surprisingly it was like $12 a piece or something so around $20 for one set which is really good because swimsuits are expensive for girls which really sucks but it's just so cute I love this top it's a little halter I've never had a halter swimsuit so I'm very excited about it I love the color it makes me look super tan I love the little in detailing I think that's super cute and I love the bottoms I wish they're a little bit like you know like this you know how girls hike it up I wish it was more like that it's more like straight but 
I'll just hike it up for photos and stuff like that. I also got a red swimsuit from Target. This one again makes me look super tan, which I'm very excited about. It's just a one shoulder swimsuit top. This one was like $15. Same with the bottoms. Here are the bottoms. They're just cheeky ones. They're not too cheeky. Next door is Omidy. I have a long story. No, let's just keep it short because I have to I've been I've venting, been venting all, all week about, about this about store. This. So three months ago, they had an Easter sale. I don't remember what it was. I think it was like, I don't know, something percent off. I was like, oh, let me hop on that before the sale goes away because I've always wanted to shop at Almighty. So we bought my grandma. Let me let me phrase that. My grandma bought me and my sister two pieces from Almighty for Easter. And I was very excited. And we haven't gotten a confirmation. Congrats, you bought it. Something like that. Or your shipping time or something like that. They sent nothing. No links or anything. I'll put screenshots on the screen because I was so frustrated. Me and my sister were like, we've been waiting for three months. So we emailed them. You know, you guys can read the screenshots on the screen. We were like, hey, did you guys ship out the products that we ordered literally three months ago? We've been waiting forever. And they emailed us back saying like, just wait a few more days. It usually takes a while for them to process the package. But girl, it was already three months. <sighs> I'm just so pissed, sorry. It was over three months, they said to email them back if we still haven't gotten it. We emailed them saying, hey, it's been over three months already, haven't gotten any confirmation. And then they're like, oh, really? Because DHL already sent in. We're like, hello, can we get the link at least? They gave us the link. They just shipped out today. And I was like, I don't understand why it took three months to process four items. And also to top that all off, one of my items that I got did not come in with the items we just got in. By the way, we did get the products in. We're just missing one more item because they said it was out of stock. But when I bought it, it was in stock three months ago. It was in stock. That's why I bought it. Why would I, why buy, would something I buy something that's out of stock? stock? You can't buy can't something that's out of stock. stock. So I'm like, okay, you guys literally forgot about it. So this is what I got. During the Easter thing, they gave out free tote bags. So I got this tote bag, which is very cheap quality. Like it's still super cute. I'll still take photos in it, but to spend over a hundred dollars, like this is the tank top I got. I was not expecting this Shein quality. It literally feels like Shein, and this was literally like 50 something dollars. Like whatever, I'll put it on the screen because it was so overpriced. I'm bitter, you can tell. In this situation, I feel like I can be bitter. This is really disappointing. Like I've looked up to this brand for so many months, like I've always wanted their products, and I finally got it, and this is how I was treated. I also got stickers with this. I think it comes with every package. I mean, their stickers are really cute. Like everything about this brand is super cute. They I just need to do better on updating people. Anyways, next door I went to was Marshalls. I love Marshalls. I went to Marshalls and TJ Maxx. I got these shoes, which are from TJ Maxx. They're Reebok shoes. They're so cute. I've worn them a couple times, as you can tell from the bottoms, but these shoes are so cool. I've been wanting Reeboks for forever. I think I filmed me getting them in a vlog. I'll link it, but I got these shoes. They're super cute. They're like an off-white. I love the color of the words. I've been wanting Reeboks for a while and just white shoes in general so excited about these and then from Marshalls I got these super cute earrings I literally I can't even wear earrings because my ears are sensitive I can't wear like certain material I forgot what it's called but I went to the doctors and they said I can't wear certain materials like I have to wear the real jewelry which is really sad <laughs> like I have to spend so much money for jewelry so I don't even wear earrings my ears are pierced but I really wanted to get these because they're so cute it's from the brand Cynthia Rolly and I got a bag from this brand as well which I'll show you in a sec they're just these like gold heart earrings it kind of looks like a safety pin to me I wish I could wear them so bad like these are so cute but this brand is Cynthia Rolly I think that's how you pronounce it has the cutest things because I just got a bag from this brand and I'm just gonna show you it right now but again if you guys want to get this on depop my depop will be linked in the description box below i'm gonna post a bunch of stuff this week so you guys can go ahead and shop i got this beautiful bag from this brand and i'm so obsessed with it's just so unique and beautiful i love it i think this is so perfect for the summer and also this is like a good decoration for my room i hate to say it but this is also going to be decoration in my room i did take a few photos on instagram with this bag and i'm just ugh, it's just so beautiful like chef kiss honestly the sad thing about this is it's so heavy because of the beads looks just like a tote bag inside has zippers pockets but yeah this brand cynthia Rolly is amazing if you guys want to collab please let me know i also got a bunch of like bralettes
to show you guys so i'm wearing one of them but they're literally the same thing it's like a three pack i showed you guys on my tiktok because i was too excited and how to film a mini haul on there so if you guys want to go watch it link in the description i got this like three piece bralette which i am obsessed with it's super comfortable it's from the brand dance skin i looked it up they sell like ballet stuff this material is insane it's super comfortable it comes in brown and then this like dark pinkish purple one which i love and then i'm wearing this like nude one. I can wear them even as a tank top if I wanted to. And the last thing for Marshalls, I got this little white sports bra. Super comfortable. The padding is a little extra. I'm definitely going to take it out when I work out. Again, I can wear this as a tank top for sure. I only got one thing from the store, but from Amazon, I got these super cute sunglasses. I'm obsessed with them. They were on my For You page so many times this week that I just, I caved. I had to get it. I don't have like lane sunglasses like this, so I thought it would be perfect timing to get a perfect sunny. It's super flattering on my face. I have a really oval, big ass head. <laughs> so I thought this would be very flattering a bit. So if you guys want to get these, I'll link them in the description box if you guys want to check them out. Yeah, I love the shape of them. It's just like a straight line and has a little cat eye look. I also got one thing from Accent. I got this really cute set. Around Easter time, I was looking for an Easter dress. I went to Accent and then I saw this set, but I didn't get it because I was like, eh, like I was wearing very frugal, okay? I was like, I don't need it. It's not necessary. I went back home and it was on sale online. So I just bought it online because when I went into the store, it was not on sale. So I was like, okay, this is a perfect timing to milk it. So I got this set, which I'm so obsessed with. I also filmed that. If you guys want to watch that vlog, go ahead and do so. It's just my Easter vlog. I'll link it. But I am obsessed with this set. It's so beautiful. It's like this orange cami tank, little lacy like t-shirt material. It also makes me look super tan. Next door, is H&M. I got a lot of green things from here, so put your seatbelts on. So I got this green shirt, a little graphic t-shirt. It was literally five dollars. I think that was from my ice cream cone the other day, so I'm gonna have to wash this. Yep, that's gross. I'm sorry to show you guys. Little bear that says sassy and classy. Betsy bear. I haven't even read this whole t-shirt. I literally just got it because it was graphic and it was a cute green color. I also got a black t-shirt for work. Like I said, I was looking for some basics, so I got a basic black t-shirt. Super fun. And then I got these sweatshorts, which I'm obsessed with. I've been wanting sweatshorts for a while now, and I got just like a very muted green. It's not too bright, but it is super comfortable. It has pockets. I love how there's no string. All you have to do is just this because I don't like the pants that do that like have string because it's not like cute that way. I like it like this. And then I got these sweatpants that are green again. I just love green this summer. I think it's so fun. Same thing as the shorts. They're just a little bit darker and more brighter. They're too big for me, but I was too impatient to return it. So I just stuck with this medium. It has pockets as well. Since they're too big, I literally just do that and call it a day. They're also flared, which is a fun little detail. I'm just gonna show you everything combined. I got a few things from Depop and Goodwill and Goodwill Bins. I also got stuff for you guys, so I'll tell you which ones I'm selling at Depop. Got this beautiful green sweater vest, which I'm so excited about. I think I'm gonna wear it a few times and then sell it on Depop. That's usually how I do it. The sweater is so cute. It's like oversized. I feel like I'll wear like biker shorts with this just to wear as like a dress kind of. I also got this bun up. I posted a picture on Instagram with it. I wore it with orange skirt that I showed you from that set. I left everything open and like closed one button. I thought that was super cute. So yeah, I love this shirt. It's a little small for me. Kind of wished it was like more oversized. So I might sell this on Depop. Two hats from the Goodwill bins. I got this little brown one, which I'm selling on Depop. It just looks very Y2K. And then a golf Maui hat, which is really cool. I thought this was really fun. I got these three things from Depop. This was a trade. I got this little bralette that I wear literally every day. It's super comfortable. It's from Airy and it's like a ribbed material. This is from their chill play and move line that I love. I have leggings from that line and it's super comfortable so I knew that I had to get this. I got these jeans which I'm really sad about because they don't even fit me but I'll just list it on my Depop for you guys. Really cute Wrangler high-waisted jeans. I thought they were gonna fit me because it said a size 6 and I'm a size 6. I asked her what the waist was 26 
26. My waist is a 26. But I forgot that I have thunder thighs. So <laughs> it didn't even go up my butt. I'll just post it on Depop. Everything's good. Everything's fine. But I really wanted these to work because the back is so cute. I thought these would be perfect for work. And they're super high waisted. So please someone get this because I'm very jealous if this works out for you. I also got this that doesn't fit me. <laughs> it's from the same seller as the jeans. It said a size small. So I was like, okay, fine. I fit a size small. But she didn't tell me that this was for toddlers. Which I'm so sad about. It fits me perfectly except for the arm region. Either cut the arms or sell it. So I don't know. But it's super cute on me. It's so flattering except for the arms. <sighs> I don't know what to do. I kind of just want to cut the arms because I really like how it fits on me. That's such a waste. Anyways, moving on. More stuff from the Goodwill bins. I got this beautiful dress which I'm obsessed with. It's a little V and then the back is open which is super fun. And I love how the stomach is like tight so it's very flattering. I'm definitely gonna wear this a lot during the summertime. Just throw it on and call it a day. I got this to sell on Depop. Ribbed white mock neck tank. Perfect basic. Okay I said I was done buying brown stuff but I have three brown items I want to show you guys. This brown halter top from the Goodwill bins. Super comfortable. It's ribbed. Good. Basic for every day. I don't know if this is gonna fit me. I got this brown blazer that I'm gonna keep till winter time because this is so cute. I couldn't pass it up. This fitted brown blazer with actual padding. It's from the brand BB, which is really cool, and it's size six. That's my size. I'm definitely gonna keep this for the winter time, so be patient until you see this on my Instagram. You know it's fall when I'm gonna post this on my Instagram. I got two dicky shorts from the men section for Depop. If you guys are interested, highly recommend because I wish I think these will fit me, so I might keep one of them. But you guys can check it out. Green dicky shorts, which are super cute. Kind of want to cut it because they are super long. Like I don't think guys wear shorts this long, so I might cut them for you guys, or you guys can cut it for yourself. I got this in a green, and I also got it in a brown because I couldn't pass it up. I had to get both for you guys. I got this green sweater, which is from Tommy Bahamas. Oh no, there's a stain on it. I think it's because I mixed colors together, and I was told I was not, not to, not but to I did it anyways. Anyway. I also got this little mesh t-shirt which will look really cute with a white bikini underneath which I thought that would be fun and the last thing I got from Goodwill is these beautiful black low-waisted bell bottoms I thought they're so cute they're definitely not gonna fit me because like I said I got thunder thighs but they're so cute they look comfortable they're in perfect condition okay we are on to our last item I'm very excited to show you guys this because I have been wanting either Jordans or Dunks for years and I was leaning towards dunks more so I got dunks <laughs> so happy about it. I got these beautiful orange dunks. I love how the bottoms are the same color all around. Like, that's so cute. I was a little concerned getting orange because I was like, oh, maybe like it won't match every outfit, but I've worn these so many times in different outfits. I was very surprised that I can style this with so many different colors, so many different patterns. I think it's because the new trends this season is mixing like bright colors together. So I'm very happy that I got these during this season. It definitely helped style my outfits a hundred times better. But yeah, that is everything that I got for summer. I've posted and worn half of these items already, which I'm so happy about. If you guys are interested in half of the items I showed you, they will be listed on Depop because I cannot fit them, but I wanted somebody to wear it. So I'll be listing all of them on Depop. I'll link it in the description box below. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to like it and subscribe if you guys want to see more of me. It's just that big red button down below. I'll see you guys next week. Bye guys.